Meet John Doe is a uh, drama comedy film about uh, a woman who's about to get fired. She's a journalist. So in order to save her job, she comes up with a fake letter written by John Doe, a man who is sickened with uh, humanity and uh, the lack of it in today's you know society that he's going to jump off of a building come that Christmas and that letter ends up becoming the talk of the town however she made him up and uh, she pitches to her boss to keep her own job they're going to hire someone to play John Doe because everyone wants a job and you know living through a depression I guess um, so everyone wants to be John Doe so they hire a ex ball player who's a bit of a hobo and um, he agrees to do it and the whole thing turns into a giant movement of uh, loving your neighbor. So it starts off with um, that letter, and then uh, a speech on the radio, and then it just keeps sort of snowballing into a big political movement where politicians are not allowed in these John Doe clubs. And uh, it's all based off of this woman's writings of her father, though. So it's sort of an interesting moral story and uh, we then get to the main conflict where this vicious um, man wants to use the John Doe clubs as a launch pad to the White House. And conflict of interest, of course, and corruption are really big themes. I really like the acting. I, I mainly watch this for Barbara Stanwyck. She's one of my favorite actresses. And, uh, you know, Gary Cooper's pretty good, too. Um, really heartbreaking moments, really good characters. Uh, the ending has a really good moral message as well. So Meet John Doe is definitely one of the better drama films out there. I really enjoyed it. It, it made a really big impression on me. Almost a Christmas movie, but not quite. So I give uh, Meet John Doe a 7 out of 10.